know your rights as a patient and we are all patients even your health practitioner your gp or your gynecologist might develop a problem that takes them to see another health practitioner It's important that we all know our rights as patients. For example, the right to informed consent when you're going for an operation that you told what the operation is about, what it's supposed to entail, the potential um, side complications from the procedure. You're giving all that information so that your decision to go ahead with that procedure is based on the information that you've provided. So that's informed consent. You agree because you know that there could be these risks, but we're going to minimize them. However, you are aware of those risks when you put your signature down to, um, to consent for surgery. So that's just an example. You have a right to being provided the wealth of information before you have that procedure. You also have a right to confidentiality. You have a right to respectful treatment. Remember the first gynecologist I was referred to was exceptionally dismissive. That's totally disrespectful. And we have a right to be treated respectfully even when we come to healthcare providers looking for advice or looking for guidance for treatment. So it's useful to familiarize yourself with healthcare laws, regulations where you live that protect patients' rights. I will say this very clearly to all women all my sisters out there don't accept anyone disregarding you disregarding your symptoms or the experience that you're having that's disrespectful and if that person behaves that way that tells me i need to find another doctor i need to get a second opinion you cannot be my doctor you cannot disrespect me and be my doctor your doctor is your advocate is on your side your doctor may not be going through the same thing that you are but they will understand they'll empathize they will imagine how it would feel to be in your shoes not just with the pain or bleeding problem or whatever but when you get back home how is this affecting your family how is this affecting your sex life how is this affecting looking after your kids how is this affecting sleep how is it affecting work someone who understands that so somebody who is disrespectful who doesn't believe you're having those symptoms who thinks that you're imagining things mm -mm. You can't be my doctor.